Shalom, my friends, from here in the Holy Land. Passover is about to begin, and I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what I've been doing to prepare for the holiday. We learn in Exodus that the Jews left Egypt with a strong and mighty and quick hand, the hand of God, and that they didn't have any time to even let their bread rise. And so we're commanded to eat uh, only unleavened flour. We have to get rid of all the leavened products in our house. And we take this very seriously. It's something that's been passed down for thousands of years of exile, that the Jews have kept the Passover holiday. And we get rid of all the leavened flour in our house, which means not only bread and crackers, but even little crumbs. We try to make sure there aren't even crumbs in our house. And so we clean every corner, we clean every closet, we move the refrigerator and clean under the refrigerator, searching for little pieces of Cheerios or bread or crackers and getting rid of them. Uh, we want to be pure. This is a way to purify ourselves and to remember how God could redeem us from our exile at any moment. So I want to show you here what a Passover kitchen looks like. You'll see that we not only get rid of the crumbs, we not only get rid of the bread, but we want to make sure anything that leavened products have touched, that they're covered. So when we eat our Passover food, the unleavened bread, they're not mixed at all. And so I cleaned my counters very well. I'm in my cleaning clothes here. I've been cleaning for hours, getting ready for the holiday. And I not only cleaned the countertops, but even covered them to make sure even if a teeny tiny uh, speck of bread exists, that it won't mix with my Passover food. Here's the oven and stove top, which I cleaned very well, took off all of the different plates that we cook food on, and we put them through fire, something that a process called hagala, that we put them through fire so it burns off. If there's any remnants of food, it burns it off. And then we'll put it back on right when the holiday begins so we could cook only our special Passover food on it. Uh, all of the countertops are closed, and we even seal off cabinets where there are chametz, where there's any trace of leavened flour. And so you can see here, these are the dishes that I use throughout the year, and it's closed off, there's tape on it, and here are different products, different food products that aren't special for Passover, and so it's closed off, there's tape on it. I have special dishes, special pots and pans, everything is new and special for Passover that we use for these seven days that are only used with unleavened products, and then we put it away in the storage unit until the next year Passover. So this is a special time where we're carrying on the traditions of the Bible, living the Bible, bring it, bring it, bringing it into our home, and it's something that the children help with as well. My children have helped me clean and cook and prepare, and we search for any chametz, we search for any leavened products to make sure that there's nothing that remains in our house. Um, and then after we've searched and cleaned and done the bitikat chametz, the searching for the chametz, then we could bring in the holiday of Passover, knowing that our house is clean. And this is kind of like cleaning our temple, that just like in the olden days they would clean the temples, today we clean our house and we make it uh, a place where God could dwell. So I want to wish you all a happy Passover and uh, may we be free from all of our constraints this year. May we be brought to the ultimate redemption soon. Amen.